what's wrong? I need to take a leak, but Big R said to only take you so far. You've got to walk the rest of the way, mate. Doc, just like Big R's to do something like that. Offer you a sandwich and pull it away again when you've only taken a bite. Still, I feel better going on foot silently than roaring up to the front door in the black machine. to avert my eyes. What I was seeing was almost too much for me to handle. It was just plain sick to see these animals getting subjugated to these tortures. Big Ass was right. These people are monsters. I regained control of myself just enough to take another sneak peek at the lonely farmer and his prisoner. Don't make a sound, you disgusting cow pervert. What the hell are you doing? Get off me! Make another sound, and I'll splatter your brains all over your face. Now drop my equipment and move. <laughs> what do you want from me? Just tell me and I'll give it to you. I'll have two cokes and some fries, please. What? Spare me the gherkins. Ah. Now, you dirty cow molester, tell me where the dame is. Dame? What dame? Dan. I wish I'd stayed at Big Arse's place just a little longer so I could have caught the name of this lady I'm supposed to whack. I felt like a tree which had just fallen on a chainsaw. Jack? I turned to look where the voice had come from. But before I had even swung my head around to face the person, I already knew who it was. Darcy. My sister. Remember the picture from Act 1? She hadn't changed a bit except for a few scratches and mud from working on a farm, but she still looked as beautiful as ever. Jack, what are you doing here? I... Oh no. Please don't tell me that Darcy is a cow rapist. No, that's crazy. She would never hurt animals, especially cows. She was a naturist like that. Why did Big Ass lie to me? Jack, can you put my husband down, please? He's going blue. What? I remember I was still holding that cow fondling farmer. Wait. If Big Ass was lying about Darcy, was this guy? Oh. I should never let you get addicted to my stash of big balls. Big Ass, what are you playing at? You're too old, Jack. I tried persuading myself you had some kick left in you, but you all dried up, like a grape, without the sweet taste. I'm sorry, Jack, but I'm a man who hates to leave loose ends. If you lay a bullet from your gun on her, then you're gonna be sniffing bullets from mine. And my bullets smell like vanilla. Well, I've got no quarrel with this bitch and a half. She's as innocent as a nun with crossed legs, but if you don't throw away your gun, I'm gonna have to lay waste to this pretty little face of hers. I should have known better. Big Ass was always going out of his way to protect himself and gain money for himself. The only reason he acquired me was to kill the other gangster lord so he could rob their dead corpses. He had to pay. But Darcy was innocent in all this and I couldn't allow any harm to come to her. Plus I had crushed one of my testicles just after that farm was shot and I was unable to stand up properly. I knew what needed to be done. At least Darcy would be safe. Fine, Big Ass. You win. You always do. Let Darcy go. That's better, Jack. But as I said, I'm a man who hates to leave loose ends. And a witness for two murders would be a very nuisance. What? Sorry, my dear. Jack! You killed the master! Think, Jack. Kill me, you won't get your eye back. 
think you're being stupid, Jack. An eye for an eye. Are you okay, Jack? I'm fine. I'm sorry about your husband. It's a shame he was a brilliant husband, but his heart was never for me. Hey, Mr. Cow. Thanks for the help back there. You have earned the respect of the Cow Order. You will be known by us as Moo Protector, and we shall sing songs of your actions on this day. Well, Darcy, what do you want to do now? Well, firstly, I want you to give up taking those drugs and killing people. Deal? Deal. And secondly, I'm knackered. Want to go see a film at the pictures? Sure thing, sis. You get the popcorn and I'll get the tickets.